Reyes, here. This is the first step. From this day forward, you're going to be a Denver firefighter. In a lifelong journey. Until you leave this earth, you'll be a Denver firefighter. That's the way it is. 20 recruits in all, each with a unique reason for entering the Denver Fire Academy. Staying active and helping people, it's always been a passion for me. It's one of the busiest, most prestigious departments in the United States. Everything is different every day here at the fire department, um, and that's what I was looking for, just a challenge every day. Before going face to face with flames. It's very exciting. Recruits like Jackie Fur. I've been thinking about doing this for a long time. Ladders. Go through orientation. This is supposed to be the happiest day of your life, remember? We go even higher. Along with their families, Jackie and the group meet their coaches. You might not know what your best is. I'll find it. Get a closer look at where they'll spend the next 17 grueling weeks. This is where we'll be doing live fire training. And pick up materials, taking home more than just books and rope. We're going to fit you for turnout gear. But also the gear that protects them against fire and smoke. Being shown what you're going to be doing is like it's kind of surreal. It was exciting, it's scary. It's I mean your life's about to change. Make sure you press the that handle all the way. See how much more is coming out. Long before that changed, these 20 recruits were chosen from thousands of other applicants. Kind of like a hurry up and wait process. In a rigorous selection process that lasted about a year and a half. You go weeks without knowing anything or months sometimes. All of them interviewed and tested. One of those tests, the candidate physical ability test or CPAP, which makes sure they're fit for the job. Hefty. With the help of Lieutenant Sean Brooks, I took the CPAP myself. Three minutes. Climbing hundreds of simulated stairs, wearing a 75 pound vest. Like you not to touch the sides, maintain your balance. Whew. Lifting Whew. and using firefighting equipment, then dragging a 150 pound dummy. Lightheaded? Yeah. Nauseous? Yeah. Whew. And after finding my way through a claustrophobia inducing maze, Whew. I could finally catch my breath and find out how I did. This would have been his time if he was able to complete it. Anything over 10 minutes is a failure. You guys actually do that under 10 minutes? Yes. Wow. And now, more than a year after taking the CPAT, the recruits will face even greater challenges. It's tough, but it's really rewarding. It's the most physical thing I've ever done. But the studying's pretty intense, too. Though the Denver Fire Academy's only class of 2014 wouldn't have it any other way. You never know what to expect. You always have to bring your A-game. Boris Sanchez, Fox 31 Denver.